Hello everyone and welcome back to the final day of Pondo in Vancouver 2022. I am Dustin Childs, your Senior Communications Manager here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative. And with me is Brian Gortz, the Director of ZDI and uh, Director of Security Research, of Vulnerability Research as yes, well. Yes, yes. So Brian, it has been an amazing three days of the contest. We are done. We are wrapped up. We're still confirming a couple of the entries. We're over a million dollars for the second year in a row. Did you expect that? I did not expect that at all, actually. We, you know, last time we had over a million dollars, it was we were you know, kind of surprised that with all the entries that were coming up. And the, the move to the hybrid event, I think, really helped that process. People from around the world can participate now, and that means we have to get more budget to participate yeah, in this contest. Yeah, we, we go have that difficult conversation with uh, those above us, as it were. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, been a, it's been great. Uh, and if anything, adapting to the hybrid style, allowing the re remote participation has really encouraged a lot of folks, uh, including, let's uh, start with the trophy that's sitting right in front of us, have Master Opone, who is the overall winner of the contest. That is a remote contestant, yes. a remote team. That would be Star Labs, a team of Star Labs from Singapore, uh, with total winnings of $270,000 at 27 Master Opone points. They are awarded <laughs> Master Opone, so they will receive platinum status in 2023, the trophy, and also, it's very lovely, to own jacket that you see going very classic nice. with very this. Nice. The nice embroidery here. This is actually a very nice material as well. Uh, so we'll, we will be shipping that off to them. I'm sure they are on pins and needles waiting to receive it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really uh, actually I'm really happy for Star Labs. They've been participating in Pwn to Own for a long time, and they you know really brought together four really excellent ch chains this year, and you know we're able to actually land every single one of them, and we're, we're super excited for them. You know they've been play like I said playing for a long time. Glad to see them at the top this year. Yeah, they did fantastic. And in second place, we actually had three people tied with $150,000 and 15 Master Pwn points, uh, and that would be Hector Peralta, Masato Kinagoa, and uh, Manfred Paul. So uh, Hector and Masato both had Teams exploits, but Manfred Paul had two separate browser exploits, Mozilla Firefox with a Sandbox Escape and Apple Safari. Uh, Brian, let's talk about the browser stuff, because browsers at the heart of Pwned Own going years back, and here we have two browsers this year yeah. getting popped. Yeah, I was, you know, I was excited to see the Firefox one come in. We haven't had a lot of Firefox entries over the last couple of years, and so to have one come in with a Sandbox Escape and just work really quickly. You know, we know Manfred Paul's got really great stuff. Yes. He's participated in the past. We know he's doing a lot of browser research now. So it's exciting to see him come to the contest. He's excited, excited to see him in person. Uh, yes. you know, and I know he's out traveling around Canada right now having a good time. So. Yes, he's one of the ones who participated remotely first. So again, if we had not had that remote participation, he wouldn't have been yes, exactly. able to get here. So great to see him in person and finally meet him face to face. And uh, we had two Tesla entries this year. One of which was uh, successful. Let's start with that one. The Synactive team, uh, they were actually in the room initially on the head unit. So let's talk about what that head unit actually is. Yeah, so the head unit kind of represents uh, what is in the car for the Tesla itself. And so it just makes it more portable, makes it safer to run things. Um, you know, we've been shipping out head units to various people uh, involved in the contest over the years. And that kind of investment has helped pay off. And over the years, now we have people participating with really interesting exploits. Uh, and so we were glad to see it, you know, happen live with Tesla on site to help us, you know, verify the file rights, verify the CAN bus matches. They've been super helpful and super uh, nice the entire conference. Yeah, it's been great working with Tesla as always. Uh, they've just been really fantastic. Uh, so they demonstrated it up here in the morning, and then we went outside to the Model 3 in the afternoon, and they kind of put on a little bit of a show yeah, for it was us. Yeah, fun. Yeah, so if you follow us on Twitter, at the ZDI, you can see the video uh, standing remotely, meaning outside of the car, they were able to take over the vehicle at least enough to turn on the windshield wipers, and they were going crazy, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know what intermittent setting that was. They popped the trunk. They were flashing the lights. It was, it was pretty cool to see. Nice new feature for Tesla. Nice new feature. <laughs> uh, and the other Tesla attempt actually didn't get, uh, didn't get completed within the time frame, but we still ended up purchasing that through the, the program, yes. right? So still some good research yes. there? Yeah, still good research. We, had, we handed over to Tesla yesterday, and then I know that they're actively looking at it, trying to repro it and, and get a fix rolled out for everybody. Great, and that's one of the, the key things for me as a takeaway is even things that aren't successful in Pondone can be great research and still really benefit uh, both us as a program and the end users. Uh, speaking of benefits, one of the things we did this year was uh, we had celebrating our 15th year, our 15th anniversary, uh, we had some games here, including an Xbox loaded up with Halo, Halo 3. Uh, we didn't want to ship that back, so yeah. we ended up giving that away. Uh, we had a little trivia contest, and you had to find me 
uh, and answered the questions, how much did uh, ZDI award for the very first Pondone? What was the largest amount that we've ever given for a single Pondone entry? And then how much we awarded on the first day of the contest? Uh, and it was actually some of the folks from Synactive yep. who came up and they, the first was uh, $10,000 for the first uh, Pondone to Own back in 2007. Our largest award either was a little bit of a trick question because there were actually three correct answers. Yep. Last year, $200,000 for an exchange bug, $200,000 for a Zoom bug, and $200,000 for a Teams bug. We would have accepted any answer. And of course, on the first day, we, we awarded $800,000, which is a one-day record for Pondo. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it was really exciting. And you know, I, I remember I was up, we were up in the disclosure room, and I saw people running down the hall. So that must have been what they were trying to find you. Yeah, I know. I, I announced it in the conference area, and I started to walk back here. And somebody like grabbed me like halfway down. and was like, is this right? Like, no, sorry. Uh, so yes, that was part of the fun is they had to find me as I was a roving target. And they found me actually playing Galaga in the other room. Yeah. It was set up. So a lot of fun. So looking ahead to our next contest, that's our consumer-focused one. Uh, don't quite know the location of that yet. Yeah, working on that. Working on the location. Um, any, any preview on that? Uh, what yeah, what devices are we going to have? Yeah, we're going to be looking again at mobile devices and IoT devices. And we're just trying to figure out you know, the right combo, the right mix. And we're going to be talking to some of the vendors to see if they want to get involved and how they want to participate in the contest. So you know, we'll kind of iron that out over the next couple of months and release the rules so that everybody can kind of target those. We've already had people asking us about it, so it should be an interesting event uh, when we pull it off. So we're, we're also looking forward to that event in the fall. I especially am looking forward to it after I sleep for about 24 hours in a row. Same here. And I will be looking forward <laughs> to it. Uh, there's got to be some point we do a behind the scenes on what it takes to put one, on, one of these on. But until then, uh, thank you again. I want to thank some folks uh, who helped really uh, put this contest on. First of all, all of the ZD we do, there is a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. I'm the guy in front of the camera, but behind it, there's a army of people. Absolutely. Our events team who have done a fantastic job putting together the rooms, making sure we're all good to go. I want to thank the contestants, of course, who are participating. I want to thank the vendors who received the bugs as well. Thank you to the CanSet conference uh, for hosting us. And uh, thank you to our sponsors, Microsoft, VMware, Tesla, and Zoom. Uh, could not do it without their assistance, too. And with that, I think it's uh, about time to sign yeah. off. So any final thoughts? That no, was a great show. And just glad everybody was able to participate. We could win up, you know, give out over a million dollars. And you know, thanks for everybody for participating. That's right. Sounds yeah. good to me. So with that, we'll say goodbye. And we'll see you at the next Pondo. Night, folks. Bye, everybody.